Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to track anything in your video without using tracking points. For example, I want to attach text or a VFX element onto the side mirror of a car or its headlight, I'll show you how to do it easily. First click on track camera and wait for it to finish analyzing. Normally at this stage, we select tracking points on the object we want to track and then create a text, solid, or null, but instead of doing that, we'll skip this step and simply create a camera directly from here. Now let's create a new text. Just as an example, next enable 3D on the text layer. As you can see, the text is now placed in 3D space, but it's floating randomly and not attached to the exact point where I want it to be. We can fix this by adjusting the Z position. Right now the text is too close to the camera, while the mirror is further away. All we have to do is drag the Z value back, moving the text closer to the mirror until it aligns perfectly. Select the text layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal the position properties, then adjust the Z value from here. I find this easier than dragging the handle. The text is now far enough from the camera. Next scale the text a bit so it's clear clearly visible. Then use the Y and X handles to move the text toward the mirror until it's perfectly positioned. Now we can quickly check if the text is perfectly tracked. Great, as you can see it's now exactly where we wanted it. You can also adjust the text closer to the camera if needed and control all positions freely to your liking. Now let's move the text onto the headlight without changing the Z value and see if the tracking still works. As we can see, the tracking is off. This happens because the headlight is much closer to the camera than the mirror was. To fix this, we need to adjust the Z position, moving the text closer to the camera so it perfectly aligns with the headlight. And there we go, the text is now perfectly tracked to the headlight in seconds, all without using a single tracking point. To explain briefly, the farther the object is from the camera, the higher the Z value should be to match it. Conversely, the closer the object is, the lower the Z value should be. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.